Hi there. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how a data quality engineer can use Watson Knowledge Catalog to auto discover the data asset, auto classify the assets that are discovered, and then automatically assign business terminology to that assets. In my last video, I demonstrated how a data steward can use Watson Knowledge Catalog to create data governance assets and create a centralized catalog for the end users. In today's session, we'll go and dive into a data quality engineer persona and look at the capabilities that Watson Knowledge Catalog has to offer. So let's go and take a look. I'm inside Watson Knowledge Catalog. As a data quality engineer who wants to go and auto discover the data assets, the first thing that a data quality engineer will do is create a connection to, to the data sources. To do that, the data quality engineer will come into data and under data, you can see platform connections. It is here where I can create a connection to the source systems that I want to auto discover. We have got an N number of sources that you can configure using the tool. Uh, we have the drivers uh, that we ship with the product. Uh, both the cloud as well as on-premise databases. However, if you see a source which is not available in the connections, then you can upload the JDBC driver and create your own connectivity to that data source. Once the connection has been established, I will then go and start doing auto discovery. Now in my previous video, I showed you how a data steward will create business terms and data classes. Now that is a prerequisite to ensure automation machine learning works when you do auto discovery. So the assumption here is a data steward has gone and defined business terms and defined data classes. And now as a data quality engineer, I just want to automatically discover the data asset and then automatically classify data assets and link business terminology to, that data, to those data assets. So to do that auto discovery, as a data quality engineer, I will come into data discovery and then run auto discovery process, uh, which will go and auto discover my data assets. In here, I will click on automated discovery. In automated discovery, I will click on the connection that I've already configured in the platform connectivity. I'll select that connection, browse the tables or schemas that I want to auto discover. So select those assets that I want to auto discover. I would also like to select the project where the quality analysis results are stored. So I'll select the data quality project and then I will select the discovery options. There are multiple discovery options that we provide with the product. The first one is analyze columns. This is your classic data profiling where you look at your data, understand your data and know your data. The second one is analyze data quality. And analyze data quality is really about providing a data quality score to your data assets based on 10 data quality dimensions that we ship with the product, as well as any additional data quality rules that a user might have created. So a data quality score is then assigned to your data assets. And then I will also want to automatically assign business terminology uh, to those data assets. So that's where assigned terms come into play. If I want, I can also automatically publish the results to the catalog uh, for the end users to consume it, but I wouldn't like to do it at this point of time. And the reason for that is you do want to review the automation and uh, the classification, the business terminology that has been assigned to your assets by the platform. And if you're not happy or if you want to change those assignments, you get an opportunity to do that uh, before you can publish uh, those results to the catalog. So I would recommend that you publish the results once you have reviewed it. You can also use data sampling. So you can have different data sampling algorithms that you can use to profile your data and look at your data. Once you've selected the options that you want for this particular assets or list of assets, you then hit discover. When you hit discover, the auto discovery process will go 
and look at your data assets, profile data assets. It will go and provide a data quality score to your columns, to your table. It will go and automatically classify your columns. It will automatically bind business terminology to those columns. It will execute any data quality rules that should have been executed as part of the profiling and auto discovery and then provide the results into your data quality project. Now, let's assume this auto discovery process has finished and I will go into my data quality to look at the results. In a data quality, once I, inside data quality, I'll select the project which I've provided for auto discovery. And in, inside the project, I will see a few dashboards. The first one is the data assets dashboard. It tells me all the assets which I have profiled as part of the auto discovery process. And you can see for each of the asset, I get a data quality score at a table level or difference or change in data quality score from my previous runs. Uh, when the data uh, profiling was run, when was the metadata been imported and whether the metadata was published to the catalog or not. I can also click on dashboard. This gives a high level dashboard of, at a project level. So it tells me how many data assets were profiled, how many uh, data assets um, were used to come with the data quality score and what was the distribution of that data quality score. You also have a card for looking at what type of analysis uh, as a user have executed, relationships that have been detected by your auto discovery process, what were the top five data classes which were automatically assigned to this project and to the assets inside the projects. And all, the, all these cards are drilled on cards, interactable cards. So you can click on any of these cards and go inside and get a more information about these particular cards. I can also create data rules. We ship hundreds of data rules with the product. You can reuse these data rules. You can change these data rules, edit them or you can create your own data quality rule. And creating a data quality rule is very easy. It's like a, a jigsaw puzzle. You drag and drop the pieces on the canvas and then start building the rules. So in this case, I put if then, I can put the conditions and start building the rule. And the good thing about this is, this is a logical rule. That means I can create one logical rule and then bind it to multiple physical assets. So I can have multiple columns running the same logical rule. So that's a beauty about creating these rules and using it. I will also go and look at relationships. If I want to do a relationship discovery, want to check whether I've got primary keys, foreign keys, any overlap domains, I can do that in the relationships. And then finally, the project settings. Who can get access, what type of uh, data quality dimensions I want to use, uh, different uh, sampling algorithms that I want to use, and so on. Now let's go into my data asset and look at one of the data asset that was auto discovered. So in this case, mortgage underscore customer. When you come into a detailed view of this data asset, on the left hand side, you'll see a quality score at a table level. So that's 96% for this particular table. And then you can see the trend from the previous run that is declined 3% in the data quality. I can also look data quality score at a column level. So for each column, what is the data quality score? And obviously for applied online column, uh, the data quality score is very less. On your right hand side, you will see your assets and different uh, terminologies assigned to the asset. So in this instance, you have got column, I've got data classifications assigned to the column. This was done automatically by the tool. I've got business terminology assigned to the column, again, done automatically by the tool. And it also gives you the confidence rating of how confident the tool is in doing those assignments. Now this is at a column level and, and the top row is at your table level. So at a table level, I can look at, again, what is the business terminology assigned to a table. I can look at data quality score at a table level and get a trend of how my data quality score is changing. Uh, I will also, I can also look at data classes, data types in my tables and so on. 
Now, if I want to look at a particular column, so let's say applied online, I can click on applied online column. I get a column properties. So this is your data profiling. I get your our data quality score. Uh, so the, our data quality score of 68% was based on these data quality dimensions. And you can see there was a data quality rule violation which has impacted the data quality score. I can click on that rule violation, which is check online flag, and I can see which records uh, were the exception records for that particular rule. I can also go in data classes and it will show me which data class was selected, governance, so which business terminology or business term was automatically assigned, data types, what are data types inside my column, formats, frequency distribution. And again, all these are drilled down. So I can click on each of the uh, values and go into more details about the values. Now this is at a column level, the same thing can do it at a table level like I showed you. As a user, as a data quality engineer, if I'm not really happy with this assignment, so let's say governance, I'm not happy with the assigned business term, I can go and edit this particular assignment and provide an override and select which particular business term should I use for those overrides. This is where machine learning comes into play the machine will learn from your overrides. And as you do more and more interaction with the tool, the more and more better the machine learning algorithm will become. And hence, the better assignments to each of the columns and tables. Once you're happy with these assignments, you can then publish the results and the results are then available for the end users to go and look at it. This is how you really know your data and trust your data. You're getting the profiling, you're also getting your data quality score. So you know your data, you trust your data. There's one last bit that I want to show here before I end this session is really when you want to automatically bind a data quality rule to a table. I don't want data quality engineers to go and manually run all the data quality rules. So we do have something called as automation rules and automation rules allows you to automatically assign a data quality rule to an asset if a certain condition has been met. So in this instance, you can see I've got a rule which says whenever an asset has got a business term applied online being assigned to it, go and automatically bind check online flag data quality rule to that column. And that is why you got that data quality score of 68% because this rule was automatically executed as part of this automation rules. Now that's how, what you would do as a data quality engineer. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how you can utilize all this data quality, your data catalog from an end user perspective. So how an end user can go and search for assets and consume the trusted information that you have in the catalog. That's it folks for now. Until next time, please be safe and take care.